comeuppance. Is comeuppance the right word? I feel like it, it just feels right. Comeuppance. Let's make brownies. <laughs> but, um. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I hope you're well. Welcome back to day two of my Reading Rush vlogs. It's actually 11 in the morning. I'm sorry, I haven't checked in till now. Oh, don't hate me! <laughs> Girl, a shitty mess. I haven't read any more of The Last this morning. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, I started The Last by Hannah Jameson, which fulfills two prompts for me, which are reading a book that has the same colour as my birthstone and a book that starts with the. I only have 140 pages left of this and that's the end, so I definitely will finish this today, I'm hoping. I think it's all gonna really have a really fast pace at the end because everything is starting to kick off. So the aim today is definitely to finish that. I have, however, this morning listened to quite a bit of a song below water which was read the first book you touch so I'm now 17% of the way into this and I feel like I'm starting to understand what's going on so it's about two sisters they're not uh, biological sisters but one of the girl's families has adopted the other girl and one of them is a siren and sirens have historically always been black women and they have been really uh, discriminated against and prejudiced against and treated horribly and so she's made to hide that she is a siren by her family Family, they see it as like the, the the best thing for her then they find out that a black woman who has been murdered by her partner the defense is claiming that she was a siren and so it's kind of like her fault and so so far it's about the girls kind of grappling with that and you know trying to get people to recognize that this woman's life still mattered and grappling with their identity as as young girls and stuff and it's really interesting so far it's very like fabulism to me um you know it's set in the normal world but there's all kinds of like magical entities or creatures that people can be like sirens um i can't remember what the other one was that because i'm not reading it it's sometimes difficult to remember the words but the point is that people can be lots of magical entities and some of them are recognized and some people can be open about what they are because it's not got negative connotations but the sirens is definitely a way to like communicate how black women are discriminated against in our own society so it's been really really interesting so far i would i definitely would recommend it so far i mean i'm only 17 percent of the way in today i would definitely like to get to maybe like 50 percent of the way in we're making brownies today which i'm very excited for i love my brownies and so when i'm making that i will listen to it <laughs> That is not correct. I'm so excited to finish the last today. I just want to know what's going to happen, who's bad, who's good. I'm so excited. There she is. There she is. I haven't finished yet. I've only got like 60 pages left. But, um. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't. Something just happened that makes like zero sense. Like, I, I don't understand how this is happening. It's interesting. Like, I'm, I don't see where the story can go from here and in only 60 pages. Uh, what the fuck? What the heck is going on? I don't understand where we're going. I don't, I've lost the plot. Like, I, I'm still enjoying it. Something has been very much just sprung on us. And I don't understand where it's going to go. And I need to go make brownies now. So I'm not going to get to find out until after brownies. I'm fucking confused. So we decided to do the Instagram challenge first. And today it's cosplay as a book character. So out of the books I have with me... These four are our options. I think our best bet is the fair fight because I have a dress I can put on that's like kind of similar. Let's make brownies. <laughs> I'm 
gonna teach you how to make my brownies. This is a recipe from Hummingbird Bakery. Please don't sue me. <laughs> We're gonna be making double, so any normal person would probably just make half of this. But what you're gonna get is 400 grams of dark chocolate and 350 grams of unsalted butter. And what we're gonna do is break it all up into small pieces, put it in this glass bowl, and then we're gonna put this over the top of this on boiling water and melt it. So now we've melted down these ingredients, it's time to weigh out the other ingredients, which are 650 grams of caster sugar, 260 grams of plain flour, and six eggs. What the fuck? <laughs> this was the weirdest ending, period, ever. <laughs> the ending just took a completely different turn than what I was expecting. Oh my God. I didn't love the ending. I didn't love it. This thriller, surprisingly, is one that's definitely better at the beginning than at the end. Whereas most thrillers I feel like are better at the end than they are at the beginning. This ending will not satisfy everyone. The ending is like, what? It's like, what? Some, it was just a bit ridiculous. It was just a bit ridiculous. And listen, I like a bit of ridiculousness in my thrillers. Like I do like it to be a bit like, ha ha. A bit campy, like a bit never gonna happen, you know? Like I, I like that in thrillers, but this, I just don't know how to react. I just don't know what to say to you. I realized I never, explained that this was obviously i think it says at the back actually i read it at the last minute yeah so this was written after the 2016 presidential election and politics and blame for voting someone like donald trump in plays a big role in this it's obviously written with the eye that donald trump is going to cause a nuclear war <laughs> which you know touch wood i can't let me not let me not jinx anything has yet to occur i think that's the last thing 2020 could take i mean at that point 2020 just got to hold its hands up and just say fine <laughs> we thought it couldn't get any worse. I, I really liked this book on the whole. I'm gonna give it four stars. It's a four star. It could have been a 4.5, a four, like it paid 200, two, 250 even. It was a 4.5. The ending brought it down a bit. I didn't hate the ending. It just wasn't brilliant. It felt a bit like, oh my God, what am I gonna write? What am I gonna write? <laughs> you know, like just chucking shit at the wall and hoping something sticks. You, f I'm still, I'm kind of angry though. You find out things, I can't spoil anything, but you find out things about characters at the end here, fuming, fuming, fuming. But also then the ending, you're like, you got what you deserved. You got what you deserved. You got what you deserved. At points, you know, I was there with you. And then I found out the truth about you and now, Comeuppance. Is comeuppance the right word? I feel like it, it just feels right. Comeuppance. With this finished, we have got prompts one and two down to read a book that matches my birthstone and a book starting with the word the. I'm very happy on day two, we've gotten two of the prompts down and it was a good read. I'm glad I read it. However, the ending, <laughs> I, still, I still haven't wrapped my head around it. Like my brain, can't compute. Like my brain doesn't understand. It's like, bitch, what the fuck? On the whole, a strong thriller, a very different thriller that doesn't have a nice little bow at the ending with everything tied up necessarily. If you're okay with that, I would still really, really recommend this. I have read a bit more of a song below water. I'm now 27% of the way through that. So I've listened to another 10%. 
Um, but I don't really have anything more to add to in that 10%. So I'll hopefully we'll make really great progress in that in tomorrow's vlog. So if you're interested in a song below water, definitely check out tomorrow's vlog because I'm hoping to like get at least 75% of the way through that tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm guessing it's going to be a bit shorter than yesterday's, but who knows? And I'm having so much fun doing this reading rush. It is like the most fun I've had on booktube. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying everything and I will see you tomorrow with another reading vlog. Bye!